All right, so before we get too much further ahead of ourselves, let's take a step back for a moment and talk about camera views and navigation within the Mimic. I reckon that we're probably gonna be building more complicated models in future videos, so it's probably a good idea that we address this issue now. So there's a couple of buttons that we can use to alter our view. And the first one is if I left click, I can rotate my view. So I'm just rotating the camera. The second mouse button that's available to me is the ability to scroll uh, in and out using the middle mouse scroll wheel, which will cause my view to zoom. So this is gonna make the camera zoom further in when I use my middle mouse scroll wheel. And then when I do the scroll wheel in the other way, of course, we zoom further out. I can also right click and pan my camera. So now I'm actually moving the camera uh, away from the field. And again, I'm gonna move it back. Of course, if you're not satisfied with the three views that are available to you through your mouse, there are many more uh, camera presets that we can play with from up here on the toolbar. So if I click on this camera icon, we'll see that there's a number of keyboard shortcuts for various camera presets. Uh, for example, I can take a look to the top. The camera will go to the top. I can go to the left. And now I'm so far to the left that I'm on the other side of the field. So again, I'm gonna zoom in using my middle mouse scroll wheel. I can go to the back and I can even come back to the front. Lastly, as we build more complicated models, we'll probably want to be able to temporarily hide um, building elements so that we can see what's happening behind. So for example, uh, right now, a number of pegs, uh, connector pins here, as well as the gears, are pretty inaccessible to me. So if I would to move and play with the placement of these gears, for example, I likely will want to temporarily hide some of these other building elements. So for example, here, if I were to click on this tire and come up to the toolbar, I can click here on hide, which is the H uh, key if you're using keyboard shortcuts. And what this did is it did not delete my tire. All it did is it just temporarily removed it from view. So it's still there. Uh, the benefit is, of course, now by hiding some of these objects, I can more clearly see what's going on behind. So again, if I wanted to play around with this, I can do so. When I'm finished manipulating these other objects, I can restore the previously hidden views of the objects in front by unhiding them. And again, I just come up here and I click Show All. And like magic, everything returns.